Nope. A 10 second sequence where you, you, you won the match. Um, can you just like, take, us, take us through that from your perspective? Yeah, you know, I've been training a lot uh, with my coach to make sure that after I get a takedown, I don't overlook the thought of getting a turn, you know? Turns make a huge difference, and I think uh, a lot of times uh, I'll get a takedown and I'll think, oh, no, no, let's just go back up to our feet. But it makes a huge difference, and you saw that in a match like that. One takedown, four turns, and the match is over. So my immediate thought was, bring her legs together, you have to get the lace, at least one lace, and um, it worked. It worked for me. So you crouched down, and you your head in your hands. Can you describe your emotions in that moment? I had goosebumps and I was just staring at that crowd of people just cheering for me and I was like, I can't believe this is real. I can't believe life is real because you know that that little girl that started wrestling at four years old is still inside of me and she's just looking out like, what is happening right now? How did I go from just like, you know, local kids practice to the Olympic stage? You know, it's just, it's insane. And the Israeli flags. How was it emotional for you in the stadium? Oh my gosh, I, I saw them out there and I just, I, I, had, I had chills and I just, I, I felt amazing to see them out there. You mentioned the yeah. Olympic stage, but beyond that, winning this obviously assures you a medal. I mean, how much doubt oh. You know, I don't think I comprehended that just yet because my brain has been only thinking about the gold medal. Right. <laughs> However, just to win a medal is, right. I, I, I can't comprehend that yet either. <laughs> but right now, you know, I'm, I'm not even thinking about, in order for me to go out there and function, I'm not thinking about the Olympics. I am only thinking about the match in front of me and that six minutes and fighting nonstop, getting my points and winning. And then as soon as the match ends, I look around and I'm like, Oh my gosh, cherish this moment, enjoy this moment, feel it. And, and that's how today has gone for Given me. Given how decisively you've won your matches today, how, how confident are you for tomorrow? I mean, that must give you a lot of confidence going into tomorrow. No, I, I approach every match equally. Uh, even coming off of wins, I still approach, I never underestimate anybody. So I'm definitely going to, uh, to work hard, do my studying, and make sure that I'm as prepared as I possibly can be for tomorrow. Amit, as Tito from Israel, I don't know if you know, but all the news websites, all sports channels broadcasted your fights during the day. The whole country is asking about you. Huh? And yeah. And Are you kidding me? No, no. I get texts that I'm in Paris and ask you. What, wow. Like, how, what, what does that mean for you that the, the whole country is want to know who Amit Alor is and what he has to say? I cannot, I cannot believe that. Like that, that is just insane. Thank you, thank you so much for following and supporting me. And uh, that's, that's, that's just insane. You know, I grew up wrestling in Israel almost every summer, and for me, that is a huge part of who I am as a wrestler today. And I've received so much support from them, and they've always been so welcoming for me. And so, <laughs> to know that they've been watching me, oh my gosh, it's, it's just incredible. <laughs> Would you like to yeah. say something in Hebrew for them? I am very Israel. Well, firstly, I think I've truly been feeding off of the crowd, and this is something I've noticed about myself ever since I was little. The more people watch me, the more I feel that, that urge to explode and fight even harder. And when I'm just walking out and stepping onto that mat, instead of there being nerves and doubt, the second I hear everybody cheering and I see those familiar faces, I just have this sharp focus that kicks in and this desire to fight the second the whistle blows. Um, and I also think that over the years I've developed really good skills as far as blocking things out, whether that's thoughts, emotions, feelings. <laughs> I've had a lot of traumatic life experiences too, so I think that also helps you be able to uh, learn how to block things out and just focus on, on the present and living your life. And I think uh, I, use, I use those skills out here when there's all of that pressure. How much I mean, did you did experience cause you to reflect a little bit on, on the Bay Area and sort of how you were shaped? I'm from San Francisco, so I'm asking uh -huh. But how that sort of shaped your 
I definitely wouldn't be who I am today without the opportunities I had within the Bay Area and all of the training and all the coaches and kids that I grew up wrestling with. Um, I, I love the Bay Area. It's my home. I can't imagine not living anywhere else, and I, I'm excited to go home after this. <laughs> I, I like to focus on one opponent at the time at a time. However, uh, before this competition, I thoroughly analyzed and watched all of my opponents. Um, and I I am honestly I honestly think that each and every opponent has their <coughs> own challenges. And so, whoever I have or how, however the bracket came out, I knew that I was ready for anybody that I would need to wrestle. And I'm. Just, just